Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at another dragon figure. And this is probably going to be my last review for the year. I don't think I'll get a chance next weekend because of Christmas. So if that's the case, then I hope all of you guys have a great Christmas and a great holiday. Um, so yeah, let's jump in and take a look at this figure. This is Frank Laird. He is a first lieutenant, part of the 101st Airborne Division. Also part of Operation Market Garden from Endoven, 1944. And this is a figure that um, definitely has been on my radar for a good while. Um, I wouldn't say he's incredibly rare or anything. He's just usually very pricey. Um, so that's why it's taken me a while to get him. Um, but this is a really nice figure. And as you can see from the box, it's very, very large and very different from your typical dragon box. We got a picture here of him on the side, and then over here as well, you can see him jumping out of his plane. And then other than that, there's not too much to show um, on the box, just some more pictures here, and then not really much on the back. This one came out in 2004. But anyway, really beautiful box. And if we open up the doors, you can see that there is a lot of equipment that I've left inside. Let me actually take that out and we'll just briefly go over some of this stuff. Alright, so here's the packaging, which is very interesting. He was originally in a squatting position, as if he was about to jump out of the plane. All right, well, if you take him out of all of his uh, parachute gear or paratrooper gear, um, you would put all of this on instead. Um, so right now I have him in his paratrooper gear. Um, but you can see here we've got a lot of extra stuff here. We got binoculars, uh, his pistol and the holster, pouches there for ammunition. He's got utensils and his belt, of course canteen got smoke grenades and looks like a pocket knife there as well as a bayonet so there's a lot here but like i said for now i've left it inside because i was going for uh the parachute uh look so let me bring out the figure now All right, well, here he is with all of his parachute gear. And this one is really beautiful. They did a great job with this one. You can tell they put a lot of work into him. Great detail and just tons of equipment. All right, well, before we get into specifics, actually, let me pull out. So they actually give you um, the door for the plane that he's jumping out of. So here it is. This is definitely a pretty big highlight of this figure. Um, you know, it's not, it's cool, but I wouldn't say it's incredibly impressive. It's very plastic, plasticky and, um, you know, a little fragile. So it's not too impressive, but it is cool that they included this, especially um, for display purposes, you can put him on a shelf and make him look like he's jumping out of the plane, which is really cool. But as far as the material for this, this is kind of uh, not the not the best, um, especially in the back. They did have some uh, sticky material there for you to put it on here, but it over time it ran out, so I had to put tape on here to get to. Uh, stay in place and then they give you instructions on how to put this together which wasn't too hard so yeah overall this is really cool and i'm glad they included this for sure but um the quality of it isn't the best in my opinion all right well back to the figure which is really beautiful so for starters um we'll take a look at this here 
This is a case for his M1 Grand, which is really cool. I've never seen any other figure with this. All right, so here is M1 Grand. Very nice. And then uh, a little difficult to get him to hold it with his parachute on, but you get the idea. All right, so very cool. I love this case. For the rifle that is very nice all right let's take a look at his helmet you can see i've got the uh, first aid pouch already attached onto his helmet it's a little tricky getting that inside of the netting but not too hard All right, and that helmet fits very nicely onto his head sculpt. Let me take this off though, and we'll take a look at his head. All right, there's the helmet up close. You can see the first lieutenant insignia there in the front. Very nice helmet. And here is his head sculpt, which is also very nice. The detail is good, especially for 2004. I think that looks great. All right, moving on. Let's take a look at some of his gear. So as you can see, he's got his uh, life vest. And that's already put on for you, thankfully. Uh, <laughs> these are usually a pain to put on, so I'm glad that, that was already applied, and I probably won't take it off just because I don't really want to have to hassle with trying to put it together again. Um, but you can see his front parachute there, and also this bag. Uh, there's nothing inside of that, actually. It's just uh, paper that they included. Uh, but that looks really cool, and that all gets clipped on to these loops here. Not hard to do. There's 101st Airborne Insignia, very iconic. And then also they give you American flag sticker there for his other arm. All right, and then in the back, we've got his parachute. Very cool. And once again, this was already applied for you, so you don't have to hassle with it. All right, his uniform is very nice. There are his boots, and then a boot knife. And you do have to put that on yourself, which is a little tricky to do, but it looks great once you get it on there. Love the knife, that looks great. All right, and I believe that is everything to show for the figure. Um, so this is a really beautiful figure and I do recommend checking this one out. Um, very collectible and looks great on display. I will uh, show a short clip, I guess, of the figure in my room on display on my new shelf. Um, so stick around for that. And I, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And once again, I hope you have a great Christmas and I'll see you next time.